and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Gian, and in tonight's top stories, another young man's life has been taken in the territory. News Channel 8's Lee Call reports on another homicide in St. Thomas. Another young person dead, this time out in the east end of St. Thomas. The reports gunned down, don't have any motives at this point, but the police did go to that area and apparently didn't find something after the gunshots had fired. No one was saying anything, but then uh, they went back and apparently in the lower portion of a bush they found the body of a young man. I spoke to the Deputy Chief Dwayne DeGraff this morning to get more details on the situation. Deputy Chief uh, Dwayne DeGraff, uh, Deputy Chief, I wonder if you could give us now the information you have so far on the death of another person, this time a uh, young person out in the east end of St. Thomas. Yes, good morning, Lee. I'm sorry to have to express about another loss of life. Uh, we had last evening around 10 p.m., a little after 10 p.m., Central Dispatch received a telephone call regarding shots fired vicinity of Estate Nada, up the hill from um, the abattoir where the horse track is, known as uh, Dominica Hill to some people. The units responded and found a lifeless young black male face down who had expired. Investigation revealed that uh, he was killed from gunshots. Uh, his name was Jamari Joseph, 18 years old. He resides in the vicinity of the Nada area. You can contact uh, 911 with any information regarding this homicide, or by cell phone, you can call 776 9110. Deputy Chief, I understand there was a call by uh, the residents there of gunshots. Police went out there, not able to find anything, but then returned to the area where the, the body was found. Is that, is that pretty much correct? Yes, correct. Yes. Uh, what was the problem? They were not able, no one was saying anything, or what? No, I, I guess it's in regards to where the individual was. He was down in the area that he was. Uh, he wasn't able to be seen by, also by, 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 the, uh, by, the, by the police who responded, yes. Right. How many gunshots were you able to find uh, out? I'm, I'm not aware of that exactly. Yeah, okay. So investigation underway, and how should they, uh, 911, but also your number and the chief yes, number? Uh, you can contact me to crime at 715-5534. You can also contact in major crime sergeant Lionel Miss, 715-5545. Also, they can contact the crime stoppers at 1-800-222. Tips. Now, the problem with that area has been that uh, there's been much in the way of uh, initiatives by the police for drugs and uh, money laundering, weapons and the like. And so it's not known at this time, and the chief couldn't say at this point, uh, what the motive was of the shooting uh, death of this young man. However, the area is ripe with uh, gambling uh, games and uh, drugs and, and guns. And uh, it's called uh, Dominica Hill. Actually, it's across from the Avatar and a road that leads to the right and up into the, the neighborhood. Investigation underway, as we mentioned, and so uh, if you have any information whatsoever, call the numbers we mentioned or 911. In St. Thomas, Lee Carl for News Channel 8. And in other news tonight, the recent shooting in Mambeju has a follow up story. Here's News Channel 8's Wes Small with that, as well as your Crime Stoppers report for Wednesday. Wes. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jerome. Before we get into Crime Stoppers for this Wednesday, I want to remind you about the latest shooting, officially that is, that we've had reported here uh, on St. Croix. That happened around Monday at around 1 o'clock in an area of Montbijou that, that a 34-year-old man was found by his neighbor after his neighbor hadn't seen him for some time. He went and checked on him, and he found that he was uh, down with two gunshot wounds to his upper body. Uh, now, right now, 
uh, detectives are, are interviewing uh, people in that case, and we don't want to speculate what that case involves right now, but the VIPD are looking at certain people and trying to find out what's going on. Of course, if you have any information about that latest shooting in Montbijou, that you should call 778-2211 or 911. Don't forget, you can use your cell by calling 911 at 772- 9111. All right, now let's get into Crime Stoppers. And we'll start with St. Croix, where the VIPD, uh, they are looking at a 2008 homicide, uh, that of Wilfredo Garcia. He died from multiple gunshot wounds on February 27th on King Street at around 7.30, right across from the Episcopal Church. And that was uh, on a busy street. So the VIPD and investigators say that someone should have seen something. Let's go to St. John, where St. John police, they are looking for um, any fugitive at all, as a matter of fact, any fugitive from justice. If you know a fugitive that is on the loose and you live on St. John, you need to uh, call the VIPD. And St. Thomas, they're trying to get the weapons off the street. Uh, and um, that includes people who possess or sell illegal firearms. Uh, they do maintain a serious threat of life. And um, they need uh, the person's description, name, or alias, and also uh, where they live, the type of car they drive, or where they hang out. Now, uh, statistically speaking, let me show you some numbers that comes from police liaison uh, Lieutenant Thomas Hanna, who is in charge of the Crime Stoppers for the VIPD. Of course, it's a mixture with you citizens out there to get the bad guys off the street. So far, Crime Stoppers has been existing in the Virgin Islands for just 11 weeks, 11 weeks old. And so far, they've received 77 anonymous tips. That uh, 12 of those tips have resulted in at least four arrests, recovery of stolen property, illegal drugs, and the closure of 11 cases. Meanwhile, thousands of dollars have now been awarded to citizens like yourself, where, just like Governor DeYoung said a few days ago, as a cab driver had to take uh, the law into his own hands, so to speak, and shot a would-be robber, enough is enough. The community is tired. Uh, of being held hostage uh, by the criminal elements in our territory. Enough is enough. With that, 1-800-222-TIPS. Uh, 1-800-222-8477. A la Espanol, bilingual operators are uh, waiting for your call. All right, so make sure you do the right thing and get the bad guys off the street. Here at Ann Schrader Command on St. Croix, I am Wes Small for News Channel 8.